after me. I am now allow the light of Reiki. Dissolve away all fears, worries and concerns related to money, security and safety. Hi, and thanks for joining me. You're here with Bella Katrina, the angels, and we've got some messages for the twin flames. We've got Jesus here as well. We've got romance angels. So I am going to talk a little bit about the energy, what's happening. I've been excited to come to you with this reading, and um, I just wanted to do a little shout out to wonderful subs of mine that have subscribed and um, are commenting. So I wanted to just say hi to Roma Newton. She wrote, love this, Bella. Love your heart. You're amazing. These are twin flame comments from the twin flame readings. And Anita Sills, three... Amen. Susan Henderson with love hearts. We've got Erin Laquette. I loved it all. Definitely felt a sense of peace over me while watching. Bella, love you. Susan Henderson again. We also have Janet Johnson, Cordell Nelson. Can you help me understand my psychic abilities and if I have a real biological children or child and what's their birth name or adopted name and if I'm still married to my wife and if it's from the Lord and if I am true werewolf, hybrid or vampire or something that our Lord Jesus has a plan for me or if I'm a prophet. That's why you book a reading, Cordell Nelson. Book a reading. We do a full reading and I can tell you everything there. Um, Christine Childress, hello, I shared my testimony with House Church, time to share with the world. Renee Ann, QQ Ath Moon 3, Real Lady 2283, Venus in Aries, not a good placement for Divine Feminine, <laughs> trying to heal codependency, the need to reach out to my DM. I agree, I let him be this, requires discipline that I struggle with, telling myself, I'm divine feminine, keep my focus and trusting in divine timing. Thank you for the reminder, this is a time and place for everything and I'm allowing this to happen naturally and divinely. Pauline, Paulina, thank you for explaining this. Yes, I said to Mother Mary, you are Mother's Jesus mother. White flower too, hello, Christine Forrester, I said those reality again. You've commented again. Thank you so much. Ashna Brown, Tinta Kirk, Renee Ann Keeve, Lenny B2, Tajana Christiana. And the last one, and this is the reason I'm doing this tonight, but you're focusing on your rainbow body because we've just had a rainbow body upgrade shift that I'm going to tell you about in a minute. Milk and Blue 2. Two weeks ago, I keep feeling that the karmic is in the past, yet they're still together. Wow. So for you, and this is from now on for under the twin flame reading, <laughs> you get a free 20-minute twin flame snapshot that is actually going to be published on my channel publicly. Um, for the best comment. So I'm going to give the best comment to Milk and Blue too because I feel like that is a good question. I keep feeling that the karmic is in the past, yet they're still together. What to do? So I'm going to do a free snapshot on there. If you would like to claim it, Milk and Blue too, and you're listening, please go to the link above because I'm going to actually offer all Twin Flames a 20-minute snapshot but you have to pay if you don't get it free. So this is my first ever promotion for Twin Flames, doing a 20-minute video snapshot, personal reading, publicly upgrade, uplisted. You know what I mean? Uploaded. So if you would like to claim that, I'm only doing a certain number and then that's it. Just to help you through the next three weeks because till the 21st, 
You have to book it before the 14th. So you book in the calendar and then I do it for you and publish online. Send you the link as soon as it's done. And it's only $65 for 20 minutes on just you and your twin. And you can write your both names, first names, if you want to. And any particular question in the comments or the notes when you book in on my calendar. So I do have the links below and the links showing up now. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a snapshot. Yes, we are. We're linking into our rainbow body because wanted to tell you a little bit about the energy of the next three weeks. We're having a crescendo around the 21st um, with power and energy. Star seeds are all enlightening and um, our codes are awakening. Now, that sounds really out there, but what's happened is a rainbow bridge has been connected for this specific download. We have hit critical mass and I wanted to just say congratulations on your galactic light body because the shift is occurring now. We are leaving an Armageddon um, uh, template behind. We've brought through Excalibur template and we're actually bringing through, um, there was another template that I saw. So I don't know about you, but I can definitely feel the shift. The diamond light codes, if you listen to the Divine Feminine reading, please do so. The last Divine Feminine reading, because that was very accurate. I didn't understand exactly what I was saying because I channel these messages. And then I realize the diamond light codes activate star seeds, set up a helix with photonic light to connect a rainbow bridge. Now the bridge is connected and it's clicked in and that's what we've been feeling, this big rush of energy in the last five days. And this is going to go up and down like waves until it crescendos at the 21st, which is the solstice. So I need to tell you to prepare for this energy by being grounded, by chilling out, because people that are on the edge mentally and who are not out of the matrix are actually being tripped out. You know, they're actually going like it's too much. They're going too fast and they're hitting a brick wall. So there are people actually suffering with, um, you know, cognitive dissonance, if you like. We have a message here from Jesus, Twin Flames, coming up for the next two weeks. Now, I have had a profound connection with... Um, Christ consciousness, if you like, with the energy of Christ and actually connecting it through my pillar. But I'm outrageous. I mean, I do try things until I feel that they're going to, you know, trying to prove them wrong. Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. What a beautiful card. Thank you, Jesus. So Jesus is an energy. It's unconditional love, the vibration. He came down through my pillar of light sent from the Father. So you have to go to the Father and ask. And we're going to put him there because I just love him. And we've got the, um, the birds, you know, the birds, the twin birds. Do you love them? So we've got um, light codes coming in like this, right? It does activate you. It is actually, it's freaking me out how accurate it is from what I was thinking. So it is cosmic, man. It's cosmic. Let me tell you. This is the kingdom of God that we're getting to know. I'm bringing you in a vibration of unconditional love. So if you could slow your mind down, the best way to do it is command it. I command my mind to now slow down so that I may receive healing and guidance. So you say it out loud. It's really, really powerful. I'm going to also, um, just telling you all this stuff now, but in the Divine Masculine reading, going into more of um, compatible star signs, honour and trust your feelings. See, this is in the heart chakra. See the rainbow bridge connecting? This is very cosmic, but I can feel it. So I've actually connected to Christ consciousness and um, I've activated a lot of people. So... Um, those of you who've received Holy Spirit blessings, the Holy Spirit comes inside your body and actually releases healing, guidance and comfort. It's real. And Jesus helps you release unforgiveness from your heart because if you've got resentment in there, it doesn't look like that. It looks dark. 
So any pain or doubt, fear, worry, that's actually illegal for the next three weeks. You have to do whatever it takes to get out of the matrix and to really stay calm. And if something brings a frown to your face or makes you actually grind your teeth, just drop it and let it go and come back to it later. You're not allowed to do anything that makes you feel tense in the body and your body will let you know every time. So we just say thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding and protecting me. <clears throat> Excuse me. As I listen to and act upon my feelings, help me understand and express my emotions with love. Now, these are heavy emotions. I don't know quite if we've got a vocabulary really for them. But I'm trying hard and I'm trying to bring it to you. So there's filaments. We're going from a two strand. We're into the fifth dimensional crystal grid. We're anchored there. We've created light even to go to the seventh dimension. And um, it feels funny sometimes. Do you know what I mean? In your body. I don't know if any of you can feel it, but it feels like chambers. <coughs> chambers of my body from the um, heart right, to the solar plexus. So it's these three that have really, really lit up and they start talking to each other and it's charging up. And this is how we manifest. So it's coming down here. Remember I told you we're in the twin flame journey, we're in the self-esteem, the I am. And so you have to find a new identity if you've been in a codependent relationship or your twin has, then when you release from that, it's like, who am I now? Because codependency is making somebody else's reality more important than your own. I'm going to give it to you graphically because I'm a Sagittarius and I'm really into, um, you know, truth over tact. So I want to say apologize up front if you find it very direct. But I'd also try to get as much information out as I can in these videos and it's been really exciting to share it with you. But see how the hands light up? So if you're Reiki attuned, this actually heals and expands this because you have more life force. So congratulations to those that are Reiki attuned because this is the tool for you to ascend with Reiki. So do it with me online um, at ReikiByBella.com. Get your pillar of light. We clear your aura and heals and repairs your genetic coding, your DNA, activates all your codes and helps repair any cellular damage, um, things like that. So people do actually feel a benefit of well-being and that dis-ease isn't as prevalent in your life, right? You don't get sick, no need to go to the doctor as much, even can um, help with they're just showing me asthma and sinus and eczema. So lots of my clients, please look on my website to see the benefits of Reiki attunements. But here we're going into the sacral. So this is like love and passion meeting in power. So if you're, well, we all have been, right, in under narcissistic abuse. So that means you're somebody's narcissistic supply. I'm going to just move that now as you breathe in and relax. We're going to do a snapshot on the energies of the twin flames coming up for the next week. Two weeks, the same two weeks, and I'll be back. I'm going to do lots more readings. And if you'd like your private snapshot that will be actually published on my channel for a low rate for 20 minutes, it's only $65. There's only a few available, so please head there now to book, and then you pay within 24 hours. But get your name in the calendar. And tick the remember me if you're already an existing client. It's open for everybody, but twin flames. Do you know what I mean? So having a look at the twin flame snapshot here. What I say? Let's have a look. This is a snapshot where we have a little snapshot, have a look. So what I was saying is that if you're somebody's narcissistic supply, just say it's like a heroin addict, a narcissist. They have to have their supply. And if you're their supply, just say you're heroin. If you're the codependent and you're heroin and you don't have a heroin addict, what does heroin become? 
if there's no one addicted to heroin, heroin becomes obsolete. Therefore, you have to re-identify yourself. You can't be that anymore, right? That's a very personal, down to the DNA structure, right down to the core, core beliefs, right? Going right into it can be messy and some people have opted out, right? So don't harass your twin go into healing yourself this is a critical time in the journey like being in the chrysalis you know it's all come you go into the chrysalis and come out a butterfly but there's stuff happening in the chrysalis deep deep down forming a new creation right and the the codes mean that they're like in the larvae of the caterpillar it turns to eats 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 the caterpillar and then it has a sack come over and it turns to mush. I'm going to try and find it for you. And then it, two weeks later, the chrysalis is formed and the butterfly comes out. But the template for the butterfly was in the larvae before it even became a caterpillar. And that's you. That's why we're calling it star seeds. The seed of the template is already within you, but you're transforming into something else. You're not somebody else's narcissistic supply anymore. So this is what this is saying. Who am I? This is saying, who am I? What are my talents? What are my skills? What do I want to do with my life? Where's my life purpose? What do I want to do every day? Also building up your own self-esteem. Eight reasons why I'm a good catch. You know, you've got to bring it down to yourself. You've got to bring it back to me, back to me. And look, when you do this, they're saying, it's a message here, right? <laughs> I know we're doing love, but there is a message here saying updating marketing skills, right? There is an avalanche of abundance energy coming down on the planet. Now, I'm not exaggerating, though I love to do that, as you know, because if what if I give it to you at 10, right, I have to give it to you at 10 for you to get it at 3, right? But I really want you to know that the next three weeks are the most powerful abundance weeks that have ever been in the history of our lives, in the history of humanity. What is going to be available to us to actually manifest now is the time to get your plan on paper, right, and then to act as if you've already got the money and the money will appear. It's just, it's a bit like that. So this would be eight reasons why I'm a good catch and this would be reciprocity in the relationship, the twin flame. It's unexpected offer of help, an unexpected offer of help. But here is about a plan. I see this is a divine feminine, right, making a plan and setting a goal for yourself. And then twinny twin comes in. This looks like the twins to me. And look, there's been a decision made in the subconscious mind that is not formed in the conscious yet, but it's coming through. It's being given birth. Do you know what I mean? Here's the birth. So a lot of us are feeling this overwhelming sensuality, this overwhelming, deep, you know, sort of surrender. And if not, you're going through the alchemical stage where you feel frustrated, you know, feel a bit lightheaded, need to lay down, feel like emotional and crying. But this is the Empress saying that the feminine energy is being birthed. This is the crescendo coming up on the 21st. So you may feel premenstrual. You may feel, you know, like when you're menstruating, even if you're not menstruating anymore, it may be particularly heavy. So the female cycle, right? And you guys, have the cycle too, right? There's times in the month where you feel super super sonic, sensitive and psychic and other times, you know, there's a couple of days, 10 days or whatever where you don't feel that, um, you could, I mean, you could care less, you're more bulletproof. This is showing me the cycle is coming. The gestation is done. This relationship um, connection is about to give birth to something new that we haven't thought of yet. This is something new and look, we can feel it. Nervous about change. Nervous and um, need to change that to excitement because this is massive change. I'm telling you that if you aren't grounded and you aren't really focusing on yourself, it's like the wave is coming and you're going to get bowled over, right? You're going to get like, this has been a test of courage to keep going. It's tested my faith and I'm connected to source. I'm connected to the fifth dimensional crystal grid. I connect with galactic beings of light. I call them the angels of light. They're my Palladian brothers and sisters. I'm a twin 
flame Blu-ray from Pleiades. So I've actually been able to um, connect with them. It's just been the most magical experience. And then the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, quite amazing. And here in the past has been indulgence or decadence, right? So this is showing me here that there's been a whiplash sometimes on the divine feminine side or divine masculine going, well, if they're with somebody, this may be even in the younger, younger, it's like a more immature energy that if you're going to do that you're going to ignore me then I'm going to I'm going to go out with whoever I want and I'm going to take photos and post them up on Facebook and make sure you see them and then you get upset that they blocked you it's like oh they blocked me what do I do now it's a test of courage you got to go back and redefine yourself eight reasons why you're a good catch because it's really insecure when you do that and what happens is it takes your own vibration out of you and puts it out there instead of bringing it we want Want you to be be the Empress Divine Feminine, and this is also forgiveness of mother. So Divine Masculine, you could be living, moving back in with your mother. You could be fighting with your mother. You could be divorcing your mother. You could be forgiving your mother. You could be um, organizing where you're going to live. Looks like um, or redoing everything. It's like a new home. So this is a huge stir up here, but the decision here is made. So you need to have faith that this decision was in God's hands. I, it hit me the other day when I actually received a message from the angels saying this is divinely protected. I was like, Pff, oh, <laughs> of course it is, of course it is. Like do I believe in the Holy Trinity and God and Source and Jesus and the Holy Spirit and the angels and the galactics? And then I found out we'd hit critical mass. The rainbow bridges have been built. The dark side are going down. And as soon as you wake up or the more that you wake up, become aware of the new world order, Agenda 21, what's going on and where your soul is actually going, then um, the veil is lifted even more. And then the template's dismantled. And that's how we're going to do it in the next 21 days. So it's like this highly sensitive energy, twin flame connection depth. Definitely underneath, if it's not on the surface yet, this is underneath, you know, like I heard someone say about the bamboo plant, like it grows for a long time underground before it comes to the, the surface. So that's why it seems like, oh my God, where is it, where is it, where is it? Even if you're with your twin, it's not the right time, right? Because this is an individual plan and then comes together. There's an offer here. I'm just going to ask what that is. One, two, three, what's the offer? Oh, massive. See, unexpected help because the tower is going to fall down and all challenges and problems are over, right? Because this is like I'm not going to be somebody else's supply anymore. Then what am I going to be? Whoa, heavy, dude, heavy. Re-identification. Who am I? Well, let me tell you. You're loved by God. That's who you are. You're his child and he really wants to look after you. So this has forced me in the biggest that I can ever remember to have faith, right? You have to. What is the alternative? Not challenges and problems. So they're all going, cutting away that. And there's money coming in and finances, right? So the sun comes out, justice is balanced and here restored resolution because in this energy of re-identifying yourself it's not it's too it's premature to to um you know it's like you're not ready yet not precisely ready on who you are what you've got to offer divine feminine maybe lots of divine masculines are already i know so whether you're divine feminine or divine masculine it's happening on both sides. I know a lot of masculine, divine masculines that are waiting for their twin flame to leave a codependent relationship still, still, right? So it's not just, you know, you've got you to gotta know. It's happening both ways, but it's the energy. So it's the divine masculine energy that's coming through as a re-identification. It's like you're Tarzan of the jungle and that happens within us. It's like we can create. We've got to know we're powerful creators. So then the sun comes out, lots of positive energy here. This is the downloads coming through the rainbow bridge that's actually connected. Massive downloads of photonic lights that actually ignite your helixes, right? Your... Um, 
double helixes start forming energetically. We can't see them. And here's justice. It's like justifying your love. This is also if you've had a, a SPAC attack. <laughs> Sorry, I'm from Sydney, Australia. We have words you guys probably don't know because I watch the American readers sometimes. I think, wow. I can be a bit more relaxed with my American friends. But this is a SPAC attack, like you must have spat the dummy or, you know, had it out, sent a few texts, drunk texts, drunk texts, <laughs> what's it called? But um, if you haven't, right, then you're not as embarrassed, you don't have as much guilt. And um, if your partner, twin, has not let go of this codependency yet, the tower is about to crash down, justice will be served. It happens like flips, right? So they're saying in the next eight days, there will be some confirmation and some signs around this moving forward and unexpected help from your creator, I get. And also, um, it's like, you know, you need to have your finances in order to give confidence, really. And if you're you're just looking for a job and you haven't landed the job yet, your confidence is low. Remember I was talking about here? So to actually help you along, I do have some affirmations. I took something from the book of Enoch. It said, the elect, one Enoch, one, one. I love the code. The elect and righteous who will be living in the day of tribulation when all the wicked and godless are to be removed. So do you see how when the energy changes, it's all energy to me, the vibration that bring more light into the darkness, right? That's all we're doing. So you've got to stay in it in your own vibration. What can you do to feel joy, to feel happy? And otherwise you need to rest, right? like sleep is our medicine at the moment let's do some affirmations as we go into out of this reading miracles are happening in my life my twin flame has signaled their return to me as a changed person fearless determined and open their heart has become free and their shame is undone and we'll just do a prayer to the father dear god of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the father of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Please work in the spirit world to unite me with my twin flame. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let us be drawn together like magnets. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, see to it that twins wake up. <laughs> That's me, <laughs> including my twin. Father God, help us know this is true love. And that our flame is now lit and our hearts captivated by one another. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Have this person express so much love towards me to confirm this love. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I ask to be united with my twin flame. Thank you, Father God. We ask this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Affirm this stuff often. I am with you. Reach out because um, if you haven't had a Holy Spirit blessing and you're not one with the Holy Spirit, you're missing out on comfort, guidance, healing, and messages. And then when you speak the name of Jesus Christ, it's all powerful. And when you read the Word of God, your spirit actually goes to heaven and brings down anointing amazing i will teach you all that book your free upgrade with me get your twin flame snapshot new product by bella and um hopefully i'll connect with more of you soon thank you for your comments below remember free snapshot twin flame reading for the best comment so please hit the like button if you like this reading and um, i look forward to talking to you in your comments or your snapshot or your free upgrade i love you thanks for watching bye for now I know that I am perfectly protected in all ways. Everything I need to know is revealed to me. And all of my needs are met and provided for at every moment.